Hello and welcome to the Paper Papillion. My name is Antoinette Bay I'm with the Paper Papillion and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Lindbergh, New York. I am sharing my email just in case anyone would like to email me about any of the products you see here today that I am focusing on. Um, you can email me. I'll show that again later. So I'm going to start making a card today that I made in my Facebook Live last night and I decided that I was going to make a clean version today. It's the first time I've actually not just reposted my Facebook Live as in its original form. Um, this So this is the first time I'm actually recreating it for a YouTube Live so I can post it without all the um, conversations going on. So I'm going to start with, I usually share the card. Um, I don't share the card on my Facebook Lives, but you could see the card in the um, thumbnail of the YouTube Live. So I'll show you the card as uh, in the end, you know, so you'll see it as we progress. Um, let me share first what we're using, the, the products. So we're using Soft Sea Foam Ink, Blushing Bride, Pear Pizzazz, and Pale Papaya. Those are the inks. And we're using matching daubers. And I label my daubers. Um, especially if they're the core colors, I, I label them. We're using the White Crinkle Ribbon. Now, this is a product I believe is retired. It was in the um, holiday catalog. So I am using it, but I, just be aware that I believe it's retired and I'm sorry that I didn't check. I don't think it carried over. So this is all Stampin' Up! product. Um, you could check, it's called, I don't even know what it's called because the other side broke off and I threw it out. So I don't know what it's called at the moment. Simply Elegant Trim, we're gonna use the gold. And we are going to use Wonderful Gems. We'll be using this color. Actually, today I just received an order with gems that might work more perfectly, but I left them upstairs. So I'm not gonna go up and get them now. We're using um, pearls. And we are using the paper from my favorite, which is Hand Pen Petals. Um, it's all of these beautiful papers. Now mine are all cut up because I've used them so much. So these are the papers that we're using. Um, this, um, not sorry, not this one. This one, this pattern right here. Okay, so let's get started. I'm starting out with a four and a quarter by 11 inch piece of thick white cardstock, and then I scored it down the middle at five and a half inches. I've already done most of the die cut work, but I will have to do a little bit, two things. Okay, so the piece that we're going to um, emboss, that's what we need to do, is this layer, which is about an eighth of an inch shorter all around, okay? So this is um, five and three eighths by four and one eighth. So, it's four and one eighth this way and five and three eighths this way. And then I have a stitched rectangle. This is the fourth rectangle from the smallest to the largest. This is the fourth stitched rectangle. Let me show you those products, okay? So yeah, here it is. This is the fourth largest, I believe. Hold on, let's take that out so I'm not making a mistake here. So you can see, it might be the fifth largest. Nope, it's the fourth. It's, it's, nope, it's the fifth largest. Okay, so this is the one. One, two, three, four, five. Fifth largest rectangle. That's the size that I'm using in from the stitched rectangles or rectangle stitch dies. Okay, and then we're using all of these little flowers and leaves from the penned flowers dies. And they're already die cut. And then we're using this tag right here from the tailor-made dies, okay? And the two folders we're using, and I'll be embossing here, one is ornate floral, 
and the other is the taste, Tasteful Textile. And all of this information is on my blog, which is www.thepaperpapillion.com and everything is below this video. So let me move these folders and get these two pieces. Those are the pieces that are being embossed and I'm going to bring it over my stamp and cut emboss machine. Move this a little close. Um, now, since I'm using the 3D embossing, I don't need the shim plate. I just need my gray plate and my embossing folders. Okay, so this smaller one goes in the tasteful textile folder. Folder, the larger piece goes in the ornate wall folder. So there's that piece. Beautiful. Okay, now we can get this monster of a machine out of the way. And I love it. And we can get started. So the next thing we're going to do before I even get started is we're just going to color these pieces. Now, most of them are already colored, but I did want to color a few with you to show you how I am using the daubers for this, for this um, project. Okay, so I'm taking pale papaya. Doesn't matter what you take first. I'm taking pale papaya and the leaves will go on the side because we're not putting that on the leaves. We're only putting some pale papaya on the flowers. Okay, and that's good there. A little bit more on these little ones. And not the whole flower, just a portion. Okay, now we're going to get, we're done with that one. We'll get Blushing Bride. And we'll add that to the other side. And you could blend it in, it's fine to let them blend. Blending it in a little bit in the middle. Okay, that's the flowers. Now we're going to move on to the leaves. And we're going to use soft sea foam. Let me get that piece out of there. And just lightly dab the sea foam on there. There we go. Now we'll put that one away. And then we'll get pear pizzazz. And highlight these a little bit on the, uh, not all over, but just in certain sections. Just a little bit. You want to have a little bit of contrast there in color. Maybe I'll put that right in the middle. Yep, I even see that big glob. I like that. I like that a lot. So that will be there. That's the leaves. And now we're done with the daubers. 
And now we'll bring in all of them. So here are all the ones I did beforehand. Those are the medium size. Here are the large size. And here are some of the smaller ones. I thought I did more smaller ones, but I don't think we need that many. So those, we have plenty. I have, I think six, three, six, cause we're gonna use for the envelope and for the inside. So we'll put that on the side for now. And then we'll bring this back. And the next thing we're going to do is, oh, I just found another flower in case I need it. Oh, and I have more leaves too. So we'll just add those there. So the next thing I'm going to do is take my distressing tool. And if you don't have a distressing tool, you can use a scissor. So with my distressing tool, I'm just going to do the edges. I'll grab a scissor in a second. So you can see how you'll have the same effect if you use um, paper snips. And now this is the last side. So I'm going to take paper snips just to show you how you can get the same effect. Not too much. You don't want to tear the paper, although tearing the paper is not the worst thing in the world. It looks even a little bit more distressed than I planned. And this is for the inside, and this is for the outside. So what I'm going to do here is take a corner and kind of crinkle it up because I want to peel it back a little bit. So I'm just loosening up the fibers in the paper so that way I can grab my nail and pull the paper back a little bit. Just kind of adds to that whole roughness. And then the opposite end, okay? I'm only doing this to two ends. So again, loosening up the fibers in the paper and then pulling back with your nail, okay? Just like that. If you don't have a nail long enough to do that, just grab some scissors or um, a pointy object. And then just, we're not doing it to both sides, we're just loosening this up like that, okay? So you can always grab this, something like this, or your take your pick tool and if you have the other piece that's like a blade, you can use that too, if you have it on it, on your tool. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, we have this and we have this. The next part is to, I'm not gonna adhere anything yet, we're going to do our sentiment. So I'm going to take some Versamark gold embossing powder and my embossing buddy which can be found on amazon mine is stampin up because i bought it when it was around back in the day and i'm using the in your words uh, stamp set which is the previous celebration that we had um, i really like this happy birthday stamp so i'm going to use that again today all of the cards i made this way have that same i find happy birthday the most useful um, and if I keep this card for myself, I can always change the tag sentiment. Now you might want to hang out on my Facebook lives because I have an extra one of these brand new that I'm going to be giving away soon. Um, I'm not sure when I'm giving it away, but I'm going to be giving it away soon. So if you want to head over to Facebook and join the paper papillion, if you're not already a member, that information is below as well. Okay, there we go. Another thing I'm going to be having soon is, um, I used to have a subscription club. I had it for just four months. I'm gonna have it again, and it's gonna start in April. Um, hold on, it's gonna get loud for a second.
so yeah my subscription club is starting in april getting it ready um just starting to announce it a little bit here and there and it was $39 a month and it will stay $39 a month and you get about $20 in product which includes actual product and um your card stack and um includes $20 about $20 in product and then you also get the card stock and die cuts and whatnot um, you use your own stamps most of the time you most of the time you will not have to own any stamps um, the four months that I uh, you won't have to own the stamp that I use because I generally only use sentiments on my subscription clubs that way you can use what you have at home um, that's generally how I work now I may throw in a a set that you might want to have here and there to as an add-on but generally I work with my own set uh, just a sentiment not really a, a whole set so I just use liquid glue on the back of this ornate floral piece because it's um embossed if you use adhesive sometimes it pulls the paper so when I have an embossed image I generally use liquid glue and here again this is the tasteful textile piece and I'm going to use liquid glue and that's going to go right on top of the stitched rectangle piece so this piece is also just slightly smaller than the actual size of the rectangle so that you can see the stitching around it in the areas that we might be able to see it. So now we're going to take this beautiful piece of paper as well. And also, cause it's going against an embossed piece that has, that's raised, right? I wanna use some liquid glue. So I have a, it'll, in my opinion, stick a little bit better. Okay, so I'll put that on an angle. Okay. Okay, next part, we're going to put this down like that, but we're going to put it down with dimensionals. So yeah, if you want to hear more about my subscription club, just hang around uh, my YouTube channel, hang around my blog, hang around my Facebook page and my Instagram. And soon enough, you'll be hearing a little bit about my subscription club. And as I said, it was $39.99 in the past. It will continue to be $39.99 in the future. Okay. And it's a monthly club and you subscribe and you can cancel any time. Okay. Um, so we have this part done. Now we're going to do some gluing, liquid gluing with the flowers. So we'll take the silicone mat and this, we'll leave them right there. And what I'm going to do is take several of these flowers and leaves and just glue them. Uh, little by little. This will not take very long. It looks like it might, but it won't. Um, I'm going to take a few of these. That's the back side. And I just dab glue. That's all I do. Dab, dab. Dab. Okay. Start with these flowers. I know there are other ways to do this, like take a sponge and, but we don't need a lot of glue on these because they're going to be secure anyway. We just need to get some glue on these areas. That's all. Try to be neat about it on the silicone mat so it doesn't go all over the place. And I will have to 
do some more of the flowers. But as you can see, this is a very quick process. Whoops, flipped over. leave that for now and we'll start with these big ones so you can see the card start with the big one and I'm going to go up here that way and then I'm going to take this leaf and I'm just going to go up here and then take another flower Kind of overlap that there and take a leaf and stick it there so that's what I have so far okay then I'm going to take another one of these and pull it I want to get some peach out here pull that color in there and then I'm going to take one of these put it there and start working my way down here. Okay, then another leaf will go that way. Bring some of these over. Now I'll throw a few little ones in here to fill it in. Mm, that's okay right there. All right, now we need more leaves. I'll get more leaves to color, I mean to glue. So this one, the center of this one needs to come out. We need another big one. We need four big ones on the front of the card. Oh, I put that away without doing the leaves. Okay, so I'm going to bring this down here big leaf and this here this may come down a little bit more this over here and do I want a little bit more no I'm thinking a little bit more leaf here I think I will just in there. And throw that in. Now I'm going to leave the center the way it is. I'll fill it in if need be. Well, I filled one in. And leave these two on the side for now because we're going to work with, leave that, the inside. So I'm going to get some adhesive on this strip that we distressed earlier. And we're going to stick that on the inside. Now, I do prize drawings over on my Facebook every week. And, oops, let's see. Here we go. Um, every week, the card that I make uh, the week prior gets put into a drawing for all those that comment and share and every week I spin the wheel for a winner of the card that I made the week prior so next week I'll be announcing the winner 
of this card. I'm going to put this little one in here somewhere for now. Of this card, the, the one that I made on Facebook Live, I'll be announcing the winner next week on Thursday evening. I go live every Thursday evening at 7 o'clock. Now, I know I had a spare uh, piece, but I'm going to cut this anyway. Oh, here it is. So what I did was... I took this ribbon and I cut it right up the middle. So this is the other half of the piece that I cut last night on my live. And it's all sticking to me because my fingers are sticky. So I'm just gonna fray it just a little bit. That's it. Okay, get rid of that. My hands are sticky. So you're gonna see these little hairs from the ribbon all over me. Okay. So there's that. Now let's get the crinkle ribbon. If I could find what I did with it. Here it is. And then we'll gather these together. and loop them through. And tie a pretty bow. Now this is gonna be longer than what I need because I don't want it to overtake the card. So we're gonna cut it down a little bit once I get it on here where I want it. My hands are sticky. I should have a wipe here, but I don't. Okay, okay, my pants are gonna do. Okay, so I'm gonna put dimensionals behind here. tightened up these loops and these loops and then I'm going to pull it out and then I'm going to trim give it a trim it's a little bit long whoops And then we're going to take the gold. Let me see if I have, I don't have one long enough. We're gonna open, or maybe I do. This might be long enough to loop this through as well and make a bow. I could have used a longer piece, but that was already available. Now, I don't want the gold to loosen up. So what I'm going to do is take a glue dot and my tweezers, and I'm gonna grab it and kind of like make it small because I wanna stick it, whoops, you see that? That's exactly what I don't want it to do, is loosen up like that. And I did this just fine on the last two cards. So I'm gonna stick it underneath there so that it doesn't get all sorts of gluey, which it won't. And now tie that up. And there. Now it won't unravel. That was what I was 
going for it not to unravel. So yeah, I could have used a longer piece, but this still works. I'll show you on the original how it still works. Now what we're gonna do is a little bit of splatter. So I still need these, so I'm gonna move them over. Um, because, did I do the inside? I did. Hold on, I need my envelope. Okay, I have the envelope because we want to make that pretty too. So I'm going to take my silicone mat once again and the big flower. I said on my Facebook Live last night that this is not a card that you would do um, multiple of multiples because I like to create at least four, two to four the same card um, but this one's not really one of them because of the amount of die cutting that was done on this card it's too much work if I were to make more than what I've already made um, I want to go this way uh, I could have gone that way a little bit yeah there we go. So what we're going to do, the next thing we're doing, taking our blush marker, blushing bride marker, and we're going to splatter a little bit. So I'm running out of ink on this, but it worked last night. So I'm hoping it's going to work today, tonight. And I do have another, a new pack of subtles markers subtles markers okay yeah it is coming out lightly but it is now I'm going to do the inside a little bit I wouldn't normally have to do this much splattering but it is running out now what happened to my envelope let's do the envelope a little bit too because I've used this so much I think this one's going in the garbage. So there's the inside. Here's the outside. Oh wait, we didn't finish with gems. Gems, 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 and pearls. So I'm gonna take a pack of pearls that are already open. Oh, I wish I had remembered to take the, the new ones that I got today, actually. Bring them down, because they're so pretty. They would have looked so pretty on here. So I'm gonna put one of these up here. And one down here and one here. Okay, and then we're going to take some pearls that are already open and we'll add some of those. We'll add one here. One here, and we'll put sorry two. Nope, one's on my finger. Two up here because I want a nice uneven number. So that's five. That's seven gems on there, and that is the finished card. And I'll show you another sample of it. So if you want a chance to win this card, go over to my Facebook page and join my group, Facebook, uh, the Paper Papillion, or join my business page, the Paper Papillion, or you could join the group too, which is the Paper Papillion Stampers group. And um, actually, you know what? You can comment here too, because I'll pull from here as well. I'll pull from YouTube. Any comments from YouTube? You don't have to go over to my page, but it would be nice. Okay, so here you go. Here's my original that I made last night. So you could see the gold bow is a little bit longer, but otherwise very much the same. Um, I think my flowers are spread out a little bit more here and they're a little bit more bunched up here. And then here's another version. 
with another piece of that hand pen paper, only the petal pink polka dot, same thing. And that's splattered with pale papaya. This one is also got the blushing bride splatter. And um, there you have it. Now, this is a case of, case means copy and selectively edit and it will be in the credits here. So it is a case um, of Tammy Wilson of Stamps Paper Scissors. She completely inspired this card. On her card, she used, I will show you what she used on her card. She used the Highland Heather. She used this paper on her card. So hers was this color with balmy blue, which is gorgeous together. So you can go check her out if you'd like. Um, her name, her, her, the inspiration will be on my description. And then here on the peach one, the pale papaya one, I used a different ribbon. Um, it's just called pale papaya and white ribbon, I think. So, um, but anyway, all of the supplies are on my blog. So I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you come to, please hit the subscribe button and the bell, once you hit subscribe, there's a little gray bell, hit the bell so that way you get notified every time I go and or either, hopefully eventually we'll go live on, stream live from Facebook to YouTube and YouTube at the same time. But for now, when I post, then you'll get notified. And also, if you like any of the products here, as I mentioned, you can go to my blog um, and celebration is going on right now so you can Choose items from the annual catalog or the mini catalog. Um, and then if your order reaches $50, you can grab a free celebration item. If it reaches $100, there are two options. One is this set, which I should have used today. Hmm, I used the wrong one. It just came in. And then this set for $100. If you spend $100, you can get this set with the paper or you can get this sentimental uh, sentiment set. Um, but anyway, that's that. And I do have a host code going on right now. And that is it. And here's my very professional, aren't I? <laughs> um, and there's my web uh, email. And my website is thepaperpavilion.com. Okay. So just want to throw that out there for you. Thanks for joining me or thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.